so when I ran for governor, almost nobody in the room knew me. And uh, when I ran, I said, we're going to get 700,000 jobs over seven years. And most of the media said that's not doable. Because this state had lost 832,000 jobs in four years. Home prices had dropped 50%. Uh, tourism had just been flat for decades, or it seemed like for decades, for years. And now we've added, this year we'll have 122 to 125 million tourists. We've added all these jobs. We're paying down debt. This state is completely changed. Home prices are up. Uh, everybody get a job. There's almost, they probably write a 250,000 job openings. So I told you exactly what I was going to do when I ran in 2010. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the direction of D.C. We've got to have term limits. We can't have people up there forever and ever and ever. Yeah. Yeah. The president has term limits. Most governors have term limits. We have term limits for our House and our Senate, which we should. We need to have the same thing for Congress. We also need to make sure you can't, they can't easily raise our taxes. Uh, in this state, thanks to the legislature, we have a ballot initiative. Uh, this fall on the ballot says it's going to take a two-thirds vote of your Florida legislature to raise your taxes and fees. We need to do that federally also. They've got to stop raising our taxes all the time. It's unbelievable in the last 40 years, my opponent's been in office for 40 years, the debt he's incurred, the tax increases that have happened. Why do we have to, I mean, it makes no sense to keep raising our taxes. Think about it, if you add more people, you ought to be able to share the cost of government, not raise taxes all the time. He's voted for tax increases over 300 times. Next, we need to give the president, whether it's Republican or Democrat, a line on a veto. They need to be able, somebody needs to at the end say, you know, that doesn't make sense. We're going to save money. I've, I've had the opportunity to save you $2.4 billion uh, in vetoing projects that didn't make sense. The next thing is, if you vote to shut down government, which my opponent's done, and he says, but I still want to get paid, that's what he said. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't pass the budget, why do you get paid? 